garlic memories. It was a spring day at Spaceway, Safeway if you must, back in the 1980s in Flagstaff, Arizona. There was this nice looking couple on the taller side, quiet as they waited in the checkout line, carrying themselves with a comportment that caught my eye. The fresh garlic and lemons they held in their hands looked like sedate jewels that only the privileged got to enjoy. I felt chagrined over the garlic powder and bottle of plastic bottle of faux lemon juice back in my kitchen. Worse, I fretted that someone like myself not only wouldn't take the time to use fresh ingredients, they wouldn't taste the difference if they did. I turned away from the well-heeled couple and tossed some candy bars in my basket. And then I go on to talk about how I wasn't a complete stranger to real garlic because my mother had used it some when I was a girl and eventually I found my way back. And now, well, look here. I grow my own garlic, lots of it, right out in the parking strip, a whole year's supply. And chop it up all the time right here in my hippie kitchen. So if you're interested in, in making a similar journey or if you're on one and just want some ideas, this book might be for you. Certainly, it's a, it's, as is Cooking Beyond Measure, um, Hippie Kitchen is about empowerment. It's the idea that, that do we really need precise instructions from elite authorities when all we're making is a simple dinner? Point being is, a hundred years ago, we didn't have measuring cups or formal recipe books, and the rest of the world still doesn't. 